Entertainment Schmig. Okay, let's start with Jimmy Kimmel and the new season of The Bachelor that premiered on Monday. Turns out that uh, his wife, who went to St. Joe and grew up here in St. Louis, uh, is the mastermind behind his hot streak for predicting the winners. Let's go through. I'm going to tell you that my wife really made these decisions, but she's really good at it. She's had the last three in a row right. In third place, Olivia, television anchor. You gave her the first impression, Rose. All the other women hate her, according to the trailer at the end of the show, which means that she, she's she got a serious role on this thing. <laughs> but she's probably crazy and will not make it to the final two. <laughs> well, let's just say these are going to be the final two. I believe JoJo will be the winner. I believe you will date her for a period of four to six months. <laughs> And then you will be one of the most eligible bachelors in the world yet again. All right. So he called it JoJo. And Lauren B. was the other person in the final two. That's actually initial for her last name? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, no. It's Lauren (laughs) B-E-E. That means there's more than one Lauren. Got it. Okay. I didn't. Lauren the B. I don't know. I don't watch the show. I don't know if she was a B or not. (laughs) Making a murderer. If I'm a little, uh, if I have like a five second delay today, it's because I stayed up a little bit late. I have to, I have to have someone take the Netflix away from me at night. (laughs) Kind of like a kid who gets iPad privileges for only a short amount of time. (laughs) Because I will, I will spend all night watching Making a Murderer. I'm on episode three. Everybody's talking about it on Facebook and it's ruined. I'm not going to watch it now because it's, I have too much information. I think if you were lucky enough to watch it right in the beginning with no information, do you know what I'm saying? I find myself, while I'm watching it, I'm watching it on the iPad and Googling people's names on my iPhone and, like, getting more information than I probably should. But I just want to, I, like, hurry up. You need to get to the end of this. But it's pretty interesting because there is a petition for President Obama to pardon Stephen Avery. More than 300,000 people have already signed it. Uh, saying that he's innocent and should be freed. Does the president do that, or is it the? I know he pardons the, the people governor. at the end of his term. Yeah, pretty uh, interesting. But but, but, but the, isn't the governor? You know, the yeah. phone rings. Yeah. Ah, the governor's giving you a yes, reprieve. Right. Yes. right. It is. Yeah. It is the governor because. Uh, what state is, is is this taking place? Wisconsin. In? Wisconsin. And Stephen Avery and his nephew Brendan Dassey were convicted in Wisconsin state court. Presidents can only commute federal sentences, Mm -hmm. and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker says he will not pardon Avery. So, people, do your research before you start a petition and direct it toward the correct Correct. person. This is like another thing. I knew this was going to be difficult when my wife actually said to me last night, we need to watch this show. And I said, well, how do you know about it? It's all over Facebook. It's all over. It's all over Facebook. Mm -hmm. Man. So was that forecast about 12 feet of snow <laughs> from two or three years ago. Two Again. years ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah, because I had a little thing show up in my Facebook memories yeah, right. that showed the snow mm-hmm. from yesterday, yeah. two years ago. Mm-hmm. All right, this one is correct. I've checked all my interweb sources, and <laughs> Michael Weatherly leaving NCIS. Oh, uh, Nozio. No, what's the guy? Tony name? Denozio. Denozio. He's played. Uh, he's been in every single episode since the show premiered in 2003. Why is he leaving? Uh, after the current season, he's done. He he doesn't really say, but he, on Twitter he said it's a wonderful character. Couldn't have had more fun playing him. And he's done. <sighs> Killed off. He has some Spoiler sort of development. Well, he has some sort of development <laughs> deal with CBS. Maybe where, let's do something else. Yeah, so uh, you'll see him back on TV. You know what I was shocked to hear, and and you guys just mentioned this yesterday. I looked it up. Uh, the guy from Glee, Puck. Yeah, what's Mark his name? Sally. Mark mm. yeah. Saline. Saline. Yeah. Uh, uh, child porn. Yeah. Yeah. Charges. Over the break. Yeah, his ex girlfriend actually called the cops on him, and he got rough with her apparently, and uh, so that ended that relationship. And then she sort of just did a, a one eighty. Right, who out. can blame her? But no. but if you knew that beforehand, that makes you not a great person because you should have been out of that relationship. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, come on. Reported that anyway, especially Ooh. with the number of images that they said they found on his computer. He was supposed to play a villain in an upcoming movie too, and that is not. Happening. Yeah, the, the director I heard said if if it comes true, he's not part of the pitchfork crowd that says, you know, we want to go get him now. Yeah. But if it turns out, he says he'll take him out of every scene, which may be difficult. Yeah, really. Yeah. And pricey. 
Uh, Girls, the HBO show, coming to an end after its sixth season, but season five doesn't even start until next month. Judd Apatow, by the way, has a new Netflix show that people say is going to be similar to Girls. It's called Love, and that is supposed to be on Netflix sometime later this year. A lot of people are griping about uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and all of the toys that have come out. The big question on social media, where's Rey? The female character. She's a pretty strong character. Big time. Yeah. She's like uh, the female version of Han Solo, and you can't find her in stores anywhere. Wave three with what? the lightsaber. I'm just saying. What's Isn't wave the, three? Well, that's the third wave. That's when they're going to finally make Han Solo the star of the movie <laughs> as the action figure toy. So wave three, the third wave of the of the, of the the figures. You'll Spoiler see alert. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I still don't even understand what you're saying. Wave three. That's right. like a well, collector's, well, I think. When yeah. figures term. come out, they come out in waves. Wave one, which is the first group, then wave two, and then wave three, yeah. and works? then wave four. There, yeah, there is it's... somebody listening in our audience that is going to file a lawsuit suit a year from now saying Kevin was sending me secret messages <laughs> you know I started stalking him all right so no Ray Ray well yeah she hasn't been <clears throat> on a lot of store shelves but Hasbro has a Star Wars Monopoly game and after all this pressure lots of complaints they're adding her character to the Monopoly game I thought it was Hasbro <laughs> it's time for us to wave goodbye <laughs> or Schmig at 840 and online at y98.com